What's up, people? So today we're going to be checking out the Sofa Baton X1. Now, of course, you know, we checked this out before earlier in the channel, but Sofa Baton reached out and said all of the updates have been applied and we're going to see what has changed. So let's go ahead and check it out. Now, you know, Sofa Baton is my favorite universal remote right now. I actually use the Sofa Baton U2, but the X1 is their top of the line model. Now, of course, in the box, you know, it comes with the actual remote itself. And what's different about the X1 versus the U2 and the other Sofa Baton remotes is the X1 actually has a hub that controls everything. So this is the hub it comes with. It comes with your two USB type C, the type A cables. Got a couple sets of IR sensors if you're using this with like a receiver or something like that. And then you got your wall block. Now, quick look around the remote. Now, this remote is one of my favorite designs is very minimal has this uh, lcd display here that we'll look at later but then you get simple setup it's just like no number keys just your number just your volume your channel we're going to get into these buttons later as well we can set up activities to make multiple things happen at the same time now this does not take battery so if you look at the bottom you use a USB type C to charge this remote. If you look on the back, you see you have your USB type C for charging. Then you have your two slots for your IR sensors. So the main thing we want to focus on in this video is the activities. So if you see these four buttons at the bottom, we can use these buttons to set up activities or to trigger the activity. So as you can see, this is the LED screen here. I have it plugged up because the battery was a little low. Very nice display. Now you have your scroll wheel here, which is also a button. You have your directional pad right here, which is also a button in the middle. Just a quick scroll through the menu. You can see you have your activities at the top. Secondly is here where you can add your devices. And at the bottom, your settings where you go into the remote settings. So we're gonna go ahead and get the hub set up so we can get started. All right, so now as you can see, we got the hub up. So I'm gonna hit connect to hub. Now you can see I, I pre-added uh, these devices. We got the Samsung TV, we got my Nvidia Shield, and then we have my Pioneer receiver. Now in the future, I'm also gonna have to add my projector, but for this uh, demonstration, we're just gonna be using the TV, the receiver, and the Nvidia Shield. So now that these devices are added, you can see these are also showing up on the actual remote. The one that's in green is the one that's actually active right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create an activity. You can see this one I already created, but we're gonna make another one from scratch. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hit the plus sign, and we're gonna select which devices are gonna be used in this activity. For this scenario, we're gonna be using all three. So I'm gonna select all three of the uh, devices. I'm gonna hit next. Now it's gonna ask you which each device is gonna do when you activate this activity. So for the TV, I need it to switch to a particular source. For this one, my Nvidia Shield is hooked up to my input number four. So I want it to go to input four HDMI. That's what's gonna happen when it turns on. Nvidia has no input in the Pioneer no need to switch. We're gonna to go to next. Power state. So this is saying, do you want the remote to turn your device on or off? So for all of these, we want it to turn the device on. So we're gonna hit next on that. Now we're selecting which device is gonna control my volume. So since I'm using my Pioneer uh, receiver to run to my speakers, my volume should be controlled through the Pioneer. And you see they already have that selected down here on the right, that when I use my up and down volume buttons, as well as my mute button, it's gonna control that from the Pioneer. So we're gonna go ahead and hit next. Now we can control the other buttons. Now we are talking about like when we navigating through menus, going up and down, selecting shows or whatever. So for this particular instance, we're gonna be using the Nvidia Shield. So that's why I'm, that's the actual platform that I'm gonna be getting my apps and everything from. So we're not gonna be using the built-in Samsung apps. We're gonna be using the apps from the Nvidia Shield. So for this one, I wanna select the Nvidia Shield. I'm gonna hit that, we're gonna hit next. Now we're gonna give this a name. I'm gonna name this uh, Movie Night. And for the icon, I'm gonna make it 
I'll make it the TV screen. How about that? Then we're gonna hit complete. All right, so now you see it's on our list. All right, so now that that's sunk up, you can see that it's now showing on the actual remote. My two activities that I created. So let's go ahead and test it out. And as you can see, the TV turned on, the Nvidia Shield turned on, and my receiver turned on. And now I can just go on with my remote and navigate to what I wanna go to. So still the X1, one of my favorite remotes. Um, couple cons with this remote. Since everything is controlled through the hub, you cannot use this remote alone. And this is actually one of the reasons I use the U2 remote because the actual IR blaster is on the actual remote on that one. So this remote doesn't have an actual IR blaster. So everything has to be done through the hub. But other than that, this is definitely a must have if you have a home theater. Just love the functionality of it. You can do an IR, you can do Bluetooth, you can do Wi-Fi. So pretty much anything you need to control, you should be able to control through this remote. So I wanna thank y'all for watching. If you have any other questions about this remote, drop them down in the comment section and I'll be sure to get to them. I wanna thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see y'all in the next video.